Welcome to the driveway garage. Turn the camera around real quick. I made a video on changing my high, high hydraulic oil on my log splitter, but I'm gonna remake it. So here's the log splitter. I'll try to keep this short. It's a black diamond, 25 ton. It's hydraulic and it's got a filter. It goes on right here. And you just use a oil filter wrench like that to unscrew it and you know catch the oil now on this particular one it actually does have a drain plug even though I watched a few videos on how to do it and they're all unhooking the hose on the front but see that stuff dripping out of there it looks like water not oil I hope there's not a bunch of water in this thing or hope there wasn't maybe it's just hydraulic fluid is so much thinner anyway Right in the center on the bottom, there's a drain plug. Before I unhooked the hose and I thought it's kind of weird you can't get all the fluid out. So I even lowered the front end all the way to the ground to, to drain it more. And then I looked underneath here, I thought it's kind of strange they don't have a drain plug. And there it is. So I pulled the drain plug, it's all drained out. I'm going to put the drain plug back in, put the filter on, and then I went to O'Reilly's. I got where I got the filter. I'll show you the filter just in case. I haven't used it yet. I'm hoping it's the right one, but it's a Wix. And it's a 51551. And I guess hydraulic filters are just a little bit different. Get over here. It uh, looks just like a regular oil filter, but probably has a different uh, kind of filter medium in it. Anyway, I'm going to put that on there. And then for the oil, I did a Google search and it said AW32 or transmission fluid. So I got this for, I think it was 50 some dollars. If you buy it by the gallon, it's 16 dollars. I got five gallons for 50 bucks, so it saved me some money. That's what's going to go in here. Once I get the car new carburetor, I'll do some log splitting. But anyway, I just want to make a short video. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, that's the hose everybody said you take that off and drain the oil. I don't know if they just never bothered to look on the bottom of their log splitter or if their log splitter doesn't have a drain plug but mine does so drain the oil put on a new filter put about it says four gallons as far as i can tell in oil and there's a dipstick on the other side here's your fill hole and it has a dipstick on it so after i add about four gallons i'm going to check it and make sure it's all right and if not i'll add some more if i have to get some more i'll get some more thanks for watching Stay tuned for more stuff. I'm going to, uh, I did one for the oil change. I spent 45 minutes working on the carburetor and it still runs like garbage. Oh, I also picked up a new spark plug. Um, and it's an NKG VPR6ES or 7131. We compared it to the old one, so... I'll get the oil changed to get the new spark plug in, see if it runs any better. But I think the carburetor has to be replaced, and it's going to be here in a couple days. So, thanks for watching.